Hey YouTube, this is Lone Wolf 28 with another, uh, well, this is actually more of my armor review, my, uh, costume, whatever. Let's start off with my lower calves. This goes right here. I'll do the exact same thing I did to my forearms if you saw my other video. Uh, I'm gonna put a little clamping system like I did with the, uh, forearms right here. A little metal thing, just paper clips that I bent and I hook into it. So it stays. My knee pads. I'll be using. Uh, here's just another example of what it's going to be like when there will be light inside the uh, forearm. I can get my damn fingers to work. There we go. So it's going to be like that, except I'm not using this little light. It's headlight. There's my spine, not detailed at all. My butt plate, my top uh, shoulder area, whatever, of the undersuit. Uh, this will be detailed afterwards because right now I just do the base first. So it's just going to look plain. And then I do t details afterwards. There's uh, one that you saw in my, my video with the saw. That's my uh, undersuit chest piece. It's my shoulder. And I have my gun here. My Halo 4 pistol. My favorite Halo 4 saw that I made. This is my best work of all time for me. And then uh, here's also the chest pieces. I'll showcase that in just a moment how it works. There's a shoulder. I'll show that also. And in these bags, I have individual pieces like uh, there's for the gloves. Um, that's for the uh, chest where it goes all around your abdominal area. I don't know what that little piece is for. This is the cup. This is the right legs. So this is the uh, for the feet where it goes like around there. The little things. This is shoulder plates. Uh, also for the other foot, and yeah, so, let me just show off this last thing before I start going with the other things. Here, is the Halo 4, why did I say that? Halo 3 ODST S suppressed SMG. Uh, finished, sort of, there are some holes I still need to put on this part of the, uh, on both sides, the grip here, for where the trigger is. And then of course the paint job. But uh, it's already finished. Uh, I took off the light, the battery, the and the rubber band because uh, you guys already seen it in the other video. If you're watching this, you have, I hope you have. And uh, yeah, so it's all finished, sort of. Still need some areas that I need to fill in so that way when I spray over it with the paint, it doesn't freaking melt the crap out of the foam and then yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, still like any other video moves. Looks good. Very good, feels real comfortable, especially with the grip. I uh, it's supposed to be kind of like little balls sticking on top, more or less, especially on the stock. I know that for sure. So it feels real comfortable when you have this against you, and then like this part, you hold it, it feels real good. But I'm not gonna have it on this part, I'm gonna fill it in like little craters or something. And uh, yeah, the new feature is the uh, bolt, so it goes up, takes off the mag, freaking reload. There you go. Slide the bolt forward. You got yourself a loaded gun. Of course, it doesn't shoot, but is it close up? The uh, balls I was talking about feels comfortable. Suppressor. I did some modification. Hook the magazine. Simple. It originally, this was actually gonna look like that, but it looked retarded. So I put this little hook here in the side. You can't really see it in the video and just like boom slide it forward and it sticks you can still slide this back also this thing right here that I'm moving is uh... to keep the stock from like flying off if I did that and it doesn't go like that so all I have to do is push forward a little lift it up and then slide it back and it's already removed the bolt like I showed like I was talking about uh, slide back put up whatever uh, I'm not going to put like a spring or anything, I tried that, got lost inside the, the body, had to take it out. So yeah, anyways, so it's all finished and setting good, just got to paint it. And yeah, also here's the uh, example of how the chest will look. I didn't show it in the other video because I was holding with one hand and all that. So this is the rogue chest piece, by the way. It's going to, you hear the birds, that's my little birds, my crazy ass birds supposed to fit like this, like that, good, I like, 
Here is the crappiest piece of armor I've, ever, I've possibly made, the rogue shoulder for the left arm. And I bet you're wondering, what the hell is this thing protruding out of it that's not in the game? Well, I made the knife, so I like I wanted to have a place for this thing to go, and I don't know where else, because it just appears out of nowhere in the game, so I invented a spot. You just put it right there, as you can't really see. I haven't messed with this car, this part of the shoulder. There you go. So it just goes there, and there you go. So I got a place for the knife, and I'll put Velcro on sides with sticks. But yeah, so this thing I'll fill up on the top with some foam. I just recently went. I just went to the store right now to buy some stuff, and I'll fill up this area right here, like it's supposed to be, and then I'll fill up this area, and leaving only the hole for the knife. This will be easier for me to insert this thing in there. And uh, the gloves. Uh, I'm going to be trying to figure out a way how to add these onto the morph suit because I'll be using a morph suit. So I got the palm. goes like right here. fits exactly like it would in the game. And then I have pieces like this is the uh, right middle finger. So it goes like right there. And if I had it all on right now, it would look really, really nice, really cool. Even though it's just on my skin. But uh, yeah, and I have these in the baggies because... I don't want to lose some of the smaller pieces, and then, yeah, I was like, where is it? And also, it helps me keep it organized, in case, whatever reason, the things get smudged off. Anyways, forgive me for moisting your time a lot right now and explaining some of these things, but if you really like what I'm doing, then I guess it's alright. That's understandable. But, uh, yeah, so this is all I got so far. Like I keep saying in the past few videos I've made, uh, college is right around the corner. It's right next week for me. And I'm going to be super busy, maybe pulling my hair probably from it. Um, it yeah, so I'm not going to have too much time, I know for a fact. So whatever time that I'm not studying or I'm done, whatever time I'm not exercising or something, then I'll put that effort or that extra time that I have into making the costume. Uh, on the weekends I'm kind of busy also, so yeah. And yeah, when I have a chance, I'll post more of my costume if I make more of it, or I should. And when I'm done with my battle rifle, sorry, I mispronounced that, the hunger's taking over. When I'm done with the battle rifle, I'll show, like just like the way it is right there, my SMG, I'll show it like that. And then when it's painted, I'll show it off again and I'll show the full armory that that's going to be what I'm going to have. And I'll decide what to take whenever I'm going to go out with the costume. And the helmet, uh, I found out I'm not going to do any of the complicated molding and everything with tuck stuff and then the extra money and all that because college and yeah. So I'm going to just use the foam that I have. Uh, I have a lot more actually. So uh, yeah, I'll use that. I'll use the pepper cura to d print out the stencils so I can cut out, out and everything and all this. And yeah. Um, so. I'll make the costumes helmet out of this, but uh, as if you're watching this, I will require one bit of help from you guys if you have any experience in making costumes more than that, because let me just say, this is the very first time I've ever made props, like these and all that, and the very first time I've ever made armor. This is the very absolute first time I'm fresh to this, I've never done this in my life, and yeah. But uh, for the helmet, the only, case, the only problem I have is What's an easy way for me to make the mold of the visor? Because I'm going to be using, since I couldn't get any file from any other helmet that I liked, I only could get it off the one I like, which is the uh, War Master, even though I wanted the Rogue, but nobody's ever made it. Uh, the helmet has a very complex looking visor, since it's in the shape of a skull. And I want to do vacuum forming for the visor, but how can I model, or how can I probably make a mold or whatever a hard cast so that way whenever I do the vacuum forming I can make the thing. If you know anything or you have experience in that please comment. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated for me. And yeah like I said whenever I get more of this done or when I get a complete set of the armor I will post the video as soon as I'm finished or so or when I have the chance. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So like I said forgive me I'm very sorry for having to speak too long right now and of showing it off but uh, here, so this way you guys can just look while I speak. I'll post videos when I'm done with any of these things. Um, so, comments, 
what you think of the stuff I have here. Maybe some tips might help also. Um, I kind of messed up with the foam, but like recently I found out one thing you can do with the areas to make it smooth and make it sharp. You can lick your finger a little with some saliva while putting on the hot glue and, and it makes it smooth or something. But yeah, so uh, any help, especially with the visor that I'll be using, uh, will want to uh, get for the helmet. And uh, like, comment if you haven't subscribed and you would like to. Uh, by all means, you can do it. And yeah, hope you liked the video. Forgive me again. I'm sorry for having to speak too long right now. I'm bore, probably bore you even by now. But yeah, this is uh, Lomo 28 signing out.